Prince William and Kate Middleton reveal how cheeky Prince Louis keeps interrupting their Zoom calls. The youngest Cambridge turns two on 23rd of April. Dot. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge revealed they have been keeping in touch with family members using video calls during an interview with the BBC, but Prince Louis has had other ideas. Kate said to husband William, I think your father, Prince Charles, and my parents and our families and things like that have really loved keeping in touch with the children because it's really hard. It gets a bit hectic, I am not going to lie, with a, nearly, two-year-old. It seems Louis has been cheekily interrupting their video calls, with William adding, for some reason he sees the red button and he always wants to press the red button. The couple's youngest child will celebrate his second birthday on 23rd of April, two days after his great-grandmother, the Queen, marks her 94th year. Like his siblings, Prince Louis was born in the Lindo Wing at St. Mary's Hospital in Paddington, London. He is currently fifth in line to the throne after his grandfather Prince Charles, dad William and older siblings Prince George, 6, and Princess Charlotte, 4. We last got a glimpse of the children when Kensington Palace released a video of George, Charlotte and Louis applauding NHS workers during the first week of the Clap for Our Carers campaign. Little Louis looked to his brother and sister for direction as they clapped enthusiastically outside their Norfolk home, Anmer Hall where the family has been staying since the UK coronavirus lockdown was imposed. George and Charlotte are currently being homeschooled, with Kate admitting during the interview with the BBC that they have continued their lessons during the Easter holidays. I feel very mean. She laughed during the call. The Duke and Duchess have lent their voices to Public Health England's Every Mind Matters film, which aims to direct people to coronavirus-related mental health support during the lockdown. Kate Middleton opens up about her life in quarantine with Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. Kate Middleton and Prince William did an interview with the BBC about mental health during the coronavirus pandemic, and the Duchess of Cambridge opened up a bit about her life at home with her children Prince George, 6, Princess Charlotte, 4, and Prince Louis, almost 2. It's been ups and downs, she said, adding that she imagines it's that way for a lot of families. George is much older than Louis and things, but they are aware that things are different because of COVID-19, she said. And I'm always surprised and although you don't want to scare them and make it too overwhelming, I think it is appropriate to acknowledge it, the pandemic, in simple ways and age-appropriate ways. Kate said she's been keeping up homeschooling even through the holidays. Someone gave me some very good advice, breathe Easter, holidays to fit some structure to keep to a pretty strict routine, the Duchess said. Don't tell the children, we've actually kept it going through the holidays. I felt very mean. Her kids have a lot of energy, she added, children have got such stamina. I don't know how, honestly. You get to the end of the day and you write a list of all the things you've done in that day. You've pitched a tent, take the tent down again, cook, bake, you get to the end of the day. They've had a lovely time. It's amazing how much you can cram into one day, that's for sure. The couple said they chat regularly with their families over video calls. But the activity isn't without tech difficulties. Louis really likes the red button, William said. Kate added, it gets a bit hectic. I'm not going to lie. With a two-year-old you have to take the phone away. It's quite hectic for them all to say the right thing at the right time without pressing the wrong buttons. But it's great and it's nice to keep in touch with everybody. Prince William and Kate Middleton share how they've talked to their kids about coronavirus. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge also spoke about the ups and downs of quarantine with their children and how homeschooling has been going. Prince William and Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, have not shied away from telling their three children about the seriousness of the coronavirus pandemic. In a wide ranging interview with the BBC, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge shared how they have handled homeschooling Prince George, 6, Princess Charlotte, 4, and Prince Louis, 1, and how they decided to share the news about the coronavirus threat with them. It's been ups and downs, like a lot of families self-isolating, the former Kate Middleton said. George is much older than Louis is, but they are aware. Although you don't want to scare them, 
and make it too overwhelming, I think it is appropriate to acknowledge it in the simple ways, in an age-appropriate way. William said that homeschooling has been fun, with Catherine adding that they haven't skipped a day. But don't tell the children we've actually kept it going through the holidays, she said. I feel very mean. But the children have got such stamina, I don't know how, honestly. You get to the end of the day, you write down all the list of the things you've done in the day. You sort of pitch a tent, take the tent down again, cook, bake, you get to the end of the day, they've had a lovely time. It's amazing how much you can cram into one day, that's for sure. The children have also joined people across the United Kingdom in taking a moment to clap at night for health care workers, first responders and others who are on the front lines fighting the coronavirus. William also spoke about his reaction to learning that his father, Prince Charles, 71, had tested positive for the coronavirus. He has since emerged from self-isolation after experiencing minor symptoms. I have to admit, at first I was quite concerned. He fits the profile of somebody, at the age he is at, which is fairly risky, he said. But my father has had many chest infections, colds, things like that over the years. And so, I thought to myself, if anybody is going to be able to beat this, it's going to be him. The couple also noted the importance of people looking after their mental health during the crisis. They have often used their platform to champion mental health issues through charities and initiatives. If we are going to go forward with more time spent in lockdown, then there is going to be a never-increasing need for people to look after their mental health and take it seriously and also know where to go to get the support they might need," William said. He also wants to make sure that healthcare workers don't feel any stigma if they experience mental health issues while under serious strain. A lot of them are putting their lives and their health on the line for all of us, he said. But I've also been hearing that there are those working in the NHS who understandably are nervous, are anxious, and this hero tag that we're attaching to the NHS workers, albeit it's totally valid, we've got to be careful we don't alienate some of the other NHS workers who do really genuinely worry and are scared going to work every single day. With many families grieving the loss of loved ones to the coronavirus, William gave his advice about experiencing that type of trauma. He lost his mother, Princess Diana, to a car crash in 1997, when he was just 15 years old. Trauma comes in all sorts of shapes and forms, and we can never know or be prepared for when it's going to happen to us, he said. People are going to feel angry, they're going to feel confused, they're going to feel scared. That is all normal feelings, and that is unfortunately all part of the grieving process.